Hey guys, this is Karthik from Techcons and today we are going to work on FX and transition panel of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you haven't checked my previous video on Adobe Premiere Pro, a beginner's tutorial, you can check the link in the description or there is a suggestion box right above. Let's get started. So uh, I just create a project name FX and transitions tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro right now. So this is the workspace and you can check the basics right in my previous video. So I'm gonna straight away look into the FX panel. So FX and transition panel basically works on simple plugins like uh, cut can be uh, customized with added on with black dip to black transition a dip to white transition a cross dissolve transition it can be a video can be color corrected and your audio can be removed a noise can be removed from an audio all these corrections happen here and i'm not going to teach you the every tool which we are going to use in premiere pro but instead i'm going to teach you how it works basically with the primary tools so so I'm going to import an audio track and a video track into my project. I'm going to import this into my sequence. I'm sorry about that. So this is the video I have imported and let me just start up with presets right now. So uh, here is the presets. You have free presets on uh, bevel edges. Uh, let me just add it on. It's just a kind of a frame you see. and. Uh, you can add on blur tools, blur in, um, sh let me show you how it works, like it comes in from blur, like this, and uh, there are various other simple, simple tools which can be used for your edit and make it look better. So uh, seriously, I'm not going to teach you everything on, uh, on every tool right now, but what I'm going to do is. I'll just teach you how these tools work with your video. So these are the basic tools. Uh, you can even import various plugins from online. You can buy them. You can use your pirated ones, which I'm not going to talk about. And uh, next is the audio effects in which you have many tools which works on uh, um, increasing the volume of the audio, reducing the noise with a denoiser all works on drag and drop process you just need to drag the denoiser into your audio so that and go to edit and reduce straight away basically this works on two things drag and drop and working on knobs you see the knob here right now i just twist around i just play it back i'll just see the difference how the noise is reduced is it affecting the primary subjects audio uh, his voice or something so uh I just work on them straight away. So there are various audio effects like uh, reverb, surround effect, increase the channel volume, increase the noise, reduce the noise, louder radar, everything is present inside the audio effects. This is more than enough for a basic editor. You just need to drag and drop, click and turn around the knobs, you will see the difference and make sure that the difference works for you. And followed by audio transitions in which there are three tools the exponential fade the constant gain and the constant power the exponential fade is the widely used audio transition in which the audio fades out it can be used at the end of uh, in the middle of a video even you just need to place a cut and use it right, right there so that the audio just dulls up and the constant gain is just a vice versa where uh, we need to uh, add it at the front of a video Sorry. so that you will be able to gradually gradually increase the audio volume and next is the video effects in which there are various tools to enhance your video visually like uh, you have a blur in, blur out, camera blur, adjust every color through auto color correct, auto contrast, auto levels. These are just presets right now you see. You can even color correct your video manually in color correction and I prefer fastway color corrector 
and RGB RGB color I'm sorry RGB color corrector so these these are more easy to work on with your uh, primary colors and uh, like let me just demonstrate to you right now this is how you see when I just drag the circle towards the reds and you see the reds increased in your video so uh, similarly there are various other tools like keying which is used for green screen edit followed by noise and grain which can be manually added to add an effect transform horizontal flip, vertical flip it all comes down to one simple thin line which is drag and drop adjust your knobs that's it you just need to play around with your uh, premiere pro uh, anytime control is it control all is it is person you can just come back you can just uh, reset it so you just no need to worry about your mistakes followed by audio trans video transitions in which you have uh, intercuts like if you want to add a black black frame between two videos the video just dulls up and comes back you just can add a dip to white in which video just turns white and comes back or a cross dissolve you know, two videos overlay on each other and these are just the basic stuffs which every editor needs to know and you have a slide edit, slide transition, wipe transition, zoom in transitions of uh, different parameters you have different wipes all are just you just need to play around with things followed by lumetric presets in which you have uh, color corrections based on camera wise based on software wise based on um, based on the period based on the tone of your movie based on uh, uh, every preset you may just need to check this around like just drag them you see the drastic change in the color which if you wish to have you can have so that's how the FX and transition panel works it all comes down to one line again I'm saying drag and drop play on with the knobs that's it thank you